Okay, so I want you to know, just like we have a jealous God, I want you to know Satan jealous too. Yes, he is. Yeah, he is. See, he see all the great work you do with God. He sees that you surrendered. He sees you partnering up with God. He sees you denying stuff, giving up stuff, making sacrifices. You talking to the Lord. You responding to the Lord. You and the Lord, y'all establishing intimacy. Y'all getting close. You don't understand. The devil's getting jealous. Because you were once his. He was talking to you. See, he isolated you, Satan, and had you all to yourself. He had you outside the church. He had you away from friends. He had you away from people that can sanity check what it is that he got going on with you. He's just working in your mind. He has a relationship with you you ain't even aware of. Yeah, Satan talking to you or he was talking to you every day, all day. You didn't even realize it. He was either talking to you through your own thoughts or coming up and showing up in other people and talking through them. Mm -hmm. See, he was leading. He was guiding. He was directing. Oh, you was out there having fun, wasn't you? You was out there just keeping it real. You was out there just doing you. That was Satan. <laughs> that was Satan. See, he has such access to you. See, you had all kind of speeches about why you not turning to God and, you know, God is this, God is that. I'm not going to dedicate my whole life to God. I want to be free. Yeah, Satan was talking to you. He was putting all those ideas in your head. And now look at you. Oh, yeah. You and God. <laughs> you've received him as your father. Jesus Christ, you've accepted into your heart. Yeah. You open that door and you let him all the way in. The Holy Spirit resides within you. And you know, you know what he sound like. And you seeking and you listening all day. And Satan's looking and he's not happy about it at all. Because, see, you were once his. <laughs> yeah. See, you were one of his children. And now you have come in to the realization that you're God's child. He don't like it. So he know he can't pull you away because you're committed this time. You're locked in this time. There ain't nothing that you're going to do that's going to separate you from what God has for you. So the only thing Satan can do, because he want to be all up in it, is get up in it. <laughs> he has to find his way to sneak in your relationship with God, to sneak in to what you are doing with God to insert himself to what God has you doing. God has you working on. See, God is revealing your identity to you. He's establishing your identity. Satan's trying to get all up in that. He's trying to masquerade himself as an angel of light. He tries to come along as a sheep in wolf's clothing. He tries to bring you along and try to shift you his direction. <laughs> yeah. See, the devil's so slick. He's so sly. You don't even realize it. He's just trying to shift you little by little. He's just chipping away little by little at what you got going on with the Lord. That's why you got to stay in a relationship with the Lord. That's why you got to build this intimacy where you're constantly speaking to the Lord. And listening for the Lord to speak to you. That's why you got to afflict the soul. That's why you have to fast. Yeah, these kinds only come out through fasting. We need to get fasting because we need to see what's up in you. 
Yeah, see, you need some revelation. You need whatever's in you to get up out of you. See, you think because you are still saying God, 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 God all day long, because you are still praying, because you still worship, because you still have not got off the mission of God, that somehow Satan is not in it either. You think this Satan that is jealous of your newfound love with God, your newfound love, no longer with him. <laughs> See, you didn't realize you was in love with him. Yeah, you was in love with this world. You was in love with yourself. You was in love with becoming, with achieving, with your self-ambition, with your self-worship. Oh, those are the ways of Satan. That's Satan. But now you're in love with God. And what do you think Satan's going to do with that? Because you've been with him for so long. What do you think he's going to do with that? You think he's just going to sit down and watch? You think he's going to grab some popcorn and be like, yeah, okay. They've decided. <laughs> nah, he's like, I want to be a part of that too. <laughs> How can I get up in there? So I want you to take some time. Because we talked about Satan killing, stealing, destroying, devouring, the father of lies. See, you think that's happening outside of your ministry. You think that's happening outside of your walk with Christ. You think that's happening outside of who you are becoming in Christ. I want you to take some time today to scour your activity, to scour your relationship with God, to scour how you're pursuing God, to really evaluate your ministry. I really want you to make sure that every aspect of it is surrendered to the Lord. I want you to bring it before the Lord and say, Lord, can you let me know if there's any ways within those different areas that Satan is operating in that I need to identify and I need to purge? Has he got into your ministry and pushed you where you're working so hard you can't even get sleep and you're stressed out and you ain't even got time to pray? You ain't got time to worship. You ain't got time to read because you're pushing so hard. Right? What is your doctrine? What are you teaching? Is it of God? Is it led by God? God, scrutinize what I'm saying, what's coming out of my mouth, my ministry. Lord, if it's not of you, show me, reveal that to me. If I'm not being led by your spirit and another spirit has got my attention, Lord, and is leading, God, please reveal it to me. God, if this is not who you've called me to be, I don't care what it is. The way I speak, the way I look, the way I present myself. If it's not the identity you want me to walk in and Satan has gotten in that somehow and manipulated it, God, reveal it to me so that I can change it. God, show me. I want to follow you. I want to worship you. I want to obey you, Father. But if along the lines, Satan somehow has gotten in the mix of that and I've gone astray, if I've shifted in any other ways that are not of you, God, reveal even in the small details how I am serving something other than you. God, if I ever begin to worship myself, if I ever begin to not represent you well as your ambassador, Lord, please tell me. See, bring that stuff before the Lord. Because Satan is jealous. And if he can't pull you out of it, you better believe he want to get up in it. All right. Be vigilant. Be sober about this thing. Bring it before the Lord. Talk soon.